airlines remove students from the program. Well, since his death, reports and blog posts on Chinese language sites have questioned students' treatment at the school. They're required to speak English only. That's part of a language, language immersion program. And there have been accusations of punishment by spending days holding doors and spending days cleaning. Something the vice president told us today was drawn up several years ago after serious rules violations, but never carried out. And he told us there is no truth to accusations students are mistreated. We will not tolerate mis mistreatment it, it, for a lot of reasons. Uh, it's the, uh, from, from the moral thing to do to the business model. We are pri primarily an international flight training organization. We've got 72% of our students are international. We won't tolerate that. Now, Taylor met with the Chinese consulate in Houston today about this issue. The student's family is expected to arrive here in the United States possibly as early as late this week. Live in Denton this afternoon, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.